Sorry about that guys, I wanted to get a little more natural light in this room. So, uh, it's been a little while since I posted my last video. I did that 30 day vlog challenge slash one video every day and it was a really tough challenge for me, but I had a lot of fun doing it. I really enjoyed the process of filming everything every day, trying to come up with a great idea to share with you guys. Hold on, I got a little something on my camera here. So it was a lot of fun, but it was really tiring to be honest. Like I was completely exhausted after that. Like honestly, even halfway through, just kind of the mental mindset of of making sure that I did something every single day and some of the videos were much longer than the others and trying to come up with ideas and and things to share it, it was really draining um, mentally and physically and I just kind of needed a break from that I got really busy with work and I also had a few weddings in October and November and I finally finished all that up I'm caught up on all my weddings my edits kind of getting back into a groove with work and everything and things are going a lot better and um, I, I just kind of regained my confidence and and my mental state and my physical state and I decided I'm gonna uh, film a little bit more um, definitely not doing the vlog thing every day but just wanted to uh, continue sharing and continue this journey of creating content and and kind of learning about myself and learning about my craft and and sharing with you guys all my followers thank you so much for all of you who joined me on that journey that was a lot of fun and sharing with you guys and reading comments and people who who enjoyed uh the videos that i was making so thank you so much for doing that if you're new here or if you were following me on that journey and you haven't subscribed already please consider doing that you just click the subscribe button it really helps me out it helps other people see this it, it supports me in the long run and it, it just really shows that support and I really do appreciate it also hit that like button if, if you uh, haven't already that helps as well so let's get into today's video uh, like I said from the title it's time for me to move and it may have been a little misleading I'm not moving my house but I am moving my office All right guys, so like I said, it's time for me to move my office. So when I first moved into this house, I had my office set up in the basement. Uh, we have, it's a three bedroom house, uh, so we had two kind of guest rooms and our master bedroom and I had this set up in the basement. But it was kind of dark and gloomy down there and I was home alone and it didn't really make sense for me to be down, down there, so I decided to move upstairs and I was in our smaller guest room. So we found out my wife was pregnant and uh, when we kind of figured out what our schedule would be of me kind of staying at home a few days during the week, uh, working from home, I kept my office in that bedroom and we made that the nursery so that way I could work and be around our daughter. So we eventually moved my daughter into this bigger room here and uh, gave her some space with the crib but also I was able to have my desk set up here and work in the office. But uh, when I started going back to work a little bit more we have a sitter come in a few days a week and it was kind of getting annoying some days I wouldn't go into work some days I'd be working from home here at my desk and my daughter would have to take naps during the day so I would have to get out of the room while the sitter could uh, put my daughter down for a nap and or if I was home with my daughter I'd put my daughter down for a nap and go work on my laptop and my laptop is from 2012 so uh, it was really tough editing on that and uh, I'm gonna be upgrading that next this in a few months hopefully when when the new Macs start coming out but I decided that just to be more efficient and use the uh, bigger computer that I have here and just have a designated space so I don't have to keep bouncing out of the rooms and stuff I'm gonna move back down to the basement I made the setup a little more homey down there I uh, will actually head down there right now and I'll kind of show you what it's all about so this is where I've been kind of storing all my camera gear and stuff uh, this is a similar, de this is actually a desktop for my desk that I have upstairs. Uh, that's a whole nother story. I actually filmed a video about that, but I never posted it. Basically, I was having some troubles with the desktop when I ordered it, and they sent me a bunch of new desktops because they kept getting damaged. So this is actually an extra one that I kind of made a, into a setup so I can film some videos down here. I got my studio lights, and uh, I'm going to be filming some more videos uh, YouTube tutorials and things like that down here, but um, we put a bed down here. We got the TV, you know, some more lights and stuff. 
Um, I added some office space things. I got my printers and more camera gear and stuff. So it's a little bit more homey than the first time I was down here. It was just, there was nothing down here besides my desk and I had this one light here. So I'm gonna be moving back down here. I'm gonna keep this set up here with this desk because I wanna continue doing some more YouTube videos and stuff. So I shifted this bed over just a little bit. It was right up against this wall here, but I wanted to make room for my desk that I have upstairs. I'm gonna make this desk, or kind of this open space, my desk workspace. So we're gonna put my desk, my standing desk, and set up computer stuff here. Have my YouTube little studio corner over here so I can bounce back and forth and this kinda can be my de designated office space. There's a bathroom down here. So it just kinda works out you know, when I have the, the sitter here or uh, if I'm home and my daughter's taking a nap, I can just bring the monitor down here, have my own kinda designated space uh, when she's napping and then just run upstairs and hang out with her upstairs when, when she's up. But uh, we have this bed down here as a guest bed and uh, we don't have too many people come down here as we got the other two rooms upstairs. So I'm really excited to get back down here, kind of have my own designated workspace and, and kind of feel like I'm going to an office, uh, even if I'm not going to our uh, office for my uh, tennis client. So uh, super excited to get moved back down here and uh, I guess I better get going. All right guys, uh, we got everything down here, it turned out great. I actually really like how everything turned out uh, because the last time I was down here, like I said, it was super dark and gloomy and didn't really feel homey or like an office space or anything. And now that I got multiple lights, you know, uh, things filling the room a little bit more, office supplies and a TV and, and now my uh, studio space over here, it just, everything is coming together a lot more. Happy to be down here and and work in a positive environment, have my kind of go-to space and, and feel like I'm at work and I'm able to get a lot of stuff done. So thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I'm gonna make a video actually about this desk. Uh, if it's already up, uh, you can go ahead and check it out. I believe it'll be up here. This desk is a standing desk. I, I got it from Costco, I'm, I'm a Costco guy, but it's a standing desk and goes, uh, you can adjust all your levels, um, up and down powered, and this thing has saved me. I mean, I do a lot of editing, photo editing, video editing, uh, social media stuff. I'm, I'm at a computer most of my day. Unless I'm filming, I'm at my computer. So being able to sit in a comfortable, uh, nice chair, um, but also be able to uh, stand up and, and just kind of those change of positions really, really uh, saves people who work at desks a lot. So if you work at a desk uh, for your job and you're interested in learning a little bit more about a standing desk, go ahead and check out that video. Uh, I should be posting that one shortly, hopefully. And, uh, and you can hear a little bit more about it and see if it might be a good decision for you. So thank you so much for tuning in today. Uh, this move of transitioning from my daughter's bedroom to back to my home office space. Thank you so much for watching, make sure you hit like like and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. We got a lot more content coming your way. Thank you so much. Make sure to get out there and keep discovering everybody.